Blessed day, beloved people of God. Welcome to the Lord Reigns. Grace, peace, love, prosperity, victory, success, and divine health to everyone made available by God the Great King, who is the creator, owner, and possessor of all heaven and earth the joy of the Lord. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let earth receive her king. Let every heart prepare him room and heaven and nature sing. Joy to the world, the Savior reigns. Let men their songs employ while fields and floods, rocks, hills, and plains repeat their sounding joy. No more let sins and sorrows grow, nor thorns infest the ground. He comes to make his blessing flow far as the curse is found. He rules the world with truth and grace and makes the nations prove the glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love. These are some lyrics from the popular Christmas carol, Joy to the World. The song reveals the overwhelming joy we should be feeling about the fact that King Jesus is here. He is the perfect king in every sense of the word perfect. He died as a man, but rose from the dead and returned as the king of kings. Not to establish provision, material gain, or wealth for himself, but to establish it for all people because it is the Father's will for all mankind. God never meant for us to experience anything outside of righteousness, peace, and joy. That is what he rules his kingdom by. But what is the joy of the Lord? It is not a feeling. So it is different from happiness, which is a feeling. Happiness changes depending on what's going on with us. Joy is a state of mind. It is the delight of the mind from thinking about God. How good he is to us. How much he loves us. How that all his thoughts toward us are good and not evil to bring us to the place in life that he has purposed for us to be. How that no matter what negativity is going on in our lives or in the world around us, he has the power to make it work out for our good. And that there is no power beyond his. King Jesus is the ultimate power in heaven and earth. These are just a few thoughts about him that will bring joy to our hearts and minds. Joy comes from looking ahead to the manifestation of all God said and trusting him with expectation to bring it to pass. There is truly a difference between joy and happiness. We get the joy and keep it by spending time with the Lord on a consistent basis. Spend time in his word. Spend time talking to him. Spend time singing to him. Spend time worshiping and praising him. Spend time dancing before him. Whatever you choose to do, spend time with the Lord. The delight the mind experiences thinking about Jesus, his love, 
his goodness, his good thoughts toward us, and him being the ultimate power gives us strength. A joyful heart is good medicine. Those that Christ defends shout for joy. We can offer sacrifices of joy to Christ because he lifts up our heads above our enemies around us. Christ is our exceeding joy. The nations can be glad and sing for joy because the king judges the people righteously and he governs the nations on earth. Christ speaks things to us so his joy will remain in us and it will be full. We can ask the Father for things in Jesus' name and we will receive and have abundant joy. We should always be full of joy in the Lord. Joy set before us helps us to endure our trouble, despise the shame of it, and receive the blessing attached to it. When troubles come our way, we can consider it an opportunity for great joy because we know that the King will cause it to work out for our good. Shout to the Lord, all the earth. Break out in praise and sing for joy. Clap your hands, all you nations. Shout to God with cries of joy. Splendor and majesty are before him. Strength and joy are his place. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say rejoice, for he has multiplied us all the people of the earth and increased our joy. We rejoice before you as people rejoice at the harvest, as warriors rejoice when dividing the plunder. He has put more joy in our hearts than when our grain and wine abound. For the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating and drinking, but of righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. And you, Lord, are our glory and joy. Therefore, we will be glad and exult in you, O Lord. We will sing praise to your name, O Most High. For we have gone out in joy and are led forth in peace. The mountains and the hills before us break forth into singing, and all the trees of the field clap their hands. And we, who the Lord has rescued, have returned and enter into his kingdom with singing. Everlasting joy crowns our heads. Gladness and joy overtake us, and sorrow and sighing flee away. We greatly rejoice in the Lord. Our soul shall exult in our God, for he has clothed us with the garments of salvation. He has covered us with the robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom decks himself like a priest with a beautiful headdress, and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels and no one will take our joy away. More than that, we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. He has restored to us the joy of our salvation and has upheld us with a willing spirit. For this reason, the angel said, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. And when Jesus was born and the people saw the star, they rejoiced exceedingly with great joy. Jesus did it. He brought his people out, all the people of the world, with joy and singing, drawing water from the wells of salvation. And for this joy of the salvation of the world, which was set before him, Jesus endured the cross, scorning its shame and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Therefore, there is joy before the angels of God over even one person who repents. Since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. 
Through him, we have also obtained access by faith into this grace in which we stand, and we rejoice in hope of the glory of God. For our mouths have been filled with laughter and our tongue with shouts of joy. The Lord has done great things for us, and we are glad. The Lord God is in your midst, a mighty one who will save. He will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you by his love. He will exult over you with loud singing. Therefore, we count it all joy, my brothers and sisters, when we meet trials of various kinds. He is a hiding place for us. He preserves us from trouble and surrounds us with shouts of deliverance. So why should I be discouraged? Why should my heart be sad? I will put my hope in God and I will praise him again. When the cares of my heart are many, his consolations cheer my soul. Let all who take refuge in you rejoice. Let them sing for joy and spread your protection over them, Lord, that those who love your name may exalt in you. Let us like the disciples have this testimony, that they were filled with joy and with the Holy Spirit rejoicing in the sufferings we share with Christ so that we may also rejoice and be glad when his glory is revealed. Yes, in all our affliction, we are overflowing with joy for our light affliction, which is for but a moment, is working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. It is for this joy manifested through the praises and hymns of the apostle Paul and Silas after being beaten and put in prison that an earthquake arose, shaking the very foundations of the prison. All the prison doors were opened and everyone's bands were loosed. Oh, clap your hands, all peoples. Shout to God with loud songs of joy, for his favor lasts a lifetime. Yes, weeping may endure for a night, but rejoicing comes in the morning. No wonder our hearts are glad and we rejoice. Our bodies rest in safety. For you will not leave our soul among the dead, nor will you allow your holy ones to see corruption or rot in the grave. You will show us the path, the way of life, for in your presence, Lord, is the fullness of joy, and at your right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Yes, you have made known to us the paths of life, and you have made us most blessed forever. You have made us full of gladness with your presence. Our lips will shout for joy when we sing praises to you, our soul also, which you have redeemed. For there is no law against joy. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart, and the commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. Your words were found, Lord, and I ate them, and your words became to me a joy and the delight of my heart. For I am called by your name, O Lord, God of hosts. In the way of your testimonies, I delight as much as in all riches. Your testimonies are my heritage forever, for they are the joy of my heart, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. Yes, delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Ask in Jesus' name, and you will receive that your joy may be full. O Lord, you have turned for us our mourning into dancing. You have loosed our sackcloth and clothed us with gladness to the end that our tongues and our heart and everything glorious within us may sing praise to you and not be silent. O Lord, our God, we will give thanks to you forever, for our heart is glad in him because we trust in his holy name. And God, our King, our Lord and Savior, has no greater joy than to hear that we, his children, are walking in the truth. For he causes the faithful to enter into his joy, saying, These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be full. Therefore, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing, so that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope. 
being strengthened with all power according to his glorious might for all endurance and patience with joy. Though you have not seen him, you love him. And even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and are filled with an inexpressible and glorious joy. For you are receiving the end result of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Go and enjoy choice food and sweet drinks and send some to those who have nothing prepared. This day, every day, is holy to our Lord. Do not grieve, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Shout aloud and sing for joy, people of the kingdom of God, for great is the Holy One among you. Your head is exalted above the enemies who surround you. Therefore, offer sacrifices of joy. Sing and make music to the Lord. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Be glad in the Lord and rejoice, O righteous, and shout for joy, all you upright in heart. Yes, may all who seek you, O Lord our God, rejoice and be glad in you. May those who love your salvation say evermore, God is great. Thank you for listening. We trust you were encouraged, strengthened, and filled with hope. We love you, and until next time, remember, the Lord reigns with love for all.